Sledge is sleeping over there and he 100% farted in his sleep and it smells like rotten eggs. Oh god. Ugh. Hello everyone and welcome back. For today's video I thought it would be fun to play with some eyeshadow and show you how you can take a look from simple soft glam to super ultra smoky glam. Uh, for any type of glam look you're going for that day or just want to have fun with some makeup. I know some days we want a little more soft subtle glam and some days we want really intense glam. We're going to be using the Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette today. Before we get into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Jackie and welcome to Jay Sanchez Beauty. I hope you'll subscribe if you enjoy watching this today. I do post every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And with that being said, uh, if you want to see how to get some glam looks or just want to hang out for a bit, then let's get right into it. We're going to start with Simple Glam first for those of us who just want a quick, easy, um, eyeshadow with still a little bit of sparkle. So first I'm going to take this matte aura shade and I'm just going to dust that all over the lid all the way up into the brow bone just to make sure that there's no creasing from my concealer that I put down already that everything's nice and set down. I'm just being very kind of carefree with it just fluffing it anywhere and everywhere. All right now I'm going to go in with the matte soothe shade on that same fluffy brush and just put that all in the crease just really blend it out. I'm being very light-handed and then if I want to build it up to be a little deeper I can do that. You can always add more but it's a little harder to take away. I'm going to go in with that same soothe shade and just pack a little bit of that on the outer corner. I'm just packing it right in and then I'll go back in and do little windshield wiper motions just to blend it out a little bit more. By the way, that was the Sigma Tapered Blending E35 brush. And now I'm going to take a slightly more precise fluffy brush, but still pretty large and fluffy. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH34. And I'm going to go in with the Sequin Soothe shade right above that, just to give the outer corner a little bit more of a sparkle. And I'm going to lightly take that dabbing and blending. I don't want to blend away too much of the sparkle. I'm really just building up the color a little bit and giving it a tad bit of shimmer. We'll add more shimmer in a little bit, but very, very subtle. All right, I'm just taking that same shape brush with the matte soothe. Just going to lightly take that halfway in under the eye. Nothing too intense. This is a very simple, soft glam. All right, now I'm gonna take my finger. I'm gonna go in with the metallic soothe shade, very soft, um, and put this all over the lid, kind of blending it into that other soothe shade we just used and letting it go into the inner portion of the lid as well, giving the eye just a nice golden, nice golden lid. Just going in back in with that same brush on the sequin soothe and just making sure I didn't lose too much of that outer corner color. I'm going to take my middle finger on the metallic aura shade, put that right on the inner corner and a little bit on the inner portion of the lid. Just want to brighten that up a touch. And I'm even going to take that onto my brow bone just a little bit. And then take that first brush and just blend. Now, if I was tapping here for my first soft glam, I would just probably add some mascara. And I don't want to add too much liner because it would be a little too harsh. But you can 
Definitely, if you're someone who prefers like a thin liquid liner or if you prefer some black shadow, you could definitely do that as liner. Um, normally, I would do that next, but we still got two looks to go. We gotta amp it up a little bit before we're done. So, here is the finished soft glam. Very simple, like five minutes and you're done. Add some mascara and you're good. We're gonna amp it up a little bit next and kind of deepen up, smoky it up a little bit, a little bit more. All right, so for the next level, like medium, medium glam, I guess you could say, we're just gonna deepen it up a little more and add a little more shimmer. Cause for me, that's kind of my spectrum of glam, I guess you could say, like the more smoky and deep and the more sparkle, the more glam. I don't know, that's just my philosophy. Everyone has their own version of glam, so take whatever I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go in with this little brush here. This is the Luxie 121 Mini Tapered. Got this in like a box return set, I think. Um, but I'm gonna take this on the Ritual Sequin. I like these shades for the outer corner because it's kind of like a matte, but with that little extra sparkle. I'm gonna take that on the outer corner kind of do similar motions as we did in the first look. So just dab and then blend. That way you're getting a lot of color payoff, but you can blend the edges out so it's not so harsh. We're just deepening, deepening that outer corner up. Give the eye a little more definition. And I'm kind of slightly blending it into the crease. Not too far, because I don't want to close my eye too much. I still want to keep it nice and bright. Because the more smoke we add, the smaller your eyes are going to look, but by leaving this part nice and bright, it keeps the eyes looking nice and wide and open. And I'm just being super, super light-handed, like a little bit at a time, little circular motions, little windshield wiper motions, until I see the blend that I want. If you feel like you did a little too much, you can take a fluffier brush with a little bit of the Soothe and maybe even the Aura shade and just blend it out. Alright, so we're already looking a little more deep and intense, but I want to make sure that's apparent on the lower lash line as well. So I'm taking that same Luxie brush and the same sequin ritual shade and just adding that to the lower lash line. Just right on the outer corner. Now, since we're making this more of like a medium glam, I'm going to take this glitter soothe shade just dab a little bit onto my middle finger and dab that onto the center of the lid focusing it on the center and then just letting whatever's left on my finger go into the inner and outer corners Now, if you're not comfortable adding glitter on the eyelids, I know that there's a lot of people out there who aren't comfortable with it. I personally feel as long as you're being careful and smart with it, then you're fine. But if you're not comfortable with that, you can always just add a little more metallic shade. Um, you can go in with a wet brush to make it even more vibrant and metallic and foiled looking. That's definitely going to give you a very similar glam effect. I just love playing with glitter and love adding it on the lids because I think it just gives you that little extra oomph. You know what I mean? <laughs> but like I said. If you're not comfortable with glitter, don't do something you're not comfortable with. Anyways, this is the next level glam. This is kind of like the mid middle ground, a little bit deeper, a little smoky, a little glitter, but still haven't gone to the full intensity just yet. We're getting there. Like I said, normally I would add some liner here. I'd probably go in with a liquid liner here, some mascara, maybe some lashes if I was feeling it. Um, but we're going to move on to the third level of glam and then we'll be super smoky. All right, so first we're gonna intensify the outer corner and we're probably gonna add a little more glitter. But anyway, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's fine. <laughs> we're gonna take this Morphe R41 brush. It's kind of a uh, pencil brush. Go in on the matte memory shade. This is a nice deep black. So we're really getting intense. So you wanna make sure you're light-handed because black can get really intense really fast. And I'm keeping that even more on the outer corner. I'm not going as far in on the inner corner as I did with Ritual or Soothe. I'm really keeping this 
just like on the very, very outer portion, letting it blend into the crease a little bit, but kind of more in like this outer V shape, you know? I'm not really trying to make it too thick. I'm trying to make it smoky and glam without consuming my eye. And like I said, I'm going in with a super, super light hand, just dabbing and then little tiny back and forth motions to make sure it's blending out the way I want. And I can always go back in with that Luxie brush and ritual sequin to blend out the corner, the edges, excuse me, the edges <laughs> even more. Just go right over top of that black to make sure there's no harsh lines. The key to having a super smoky look is the blend. And you can go back in and intensify this as much as you want. You can make it even more intense, less intense. Like, it's all about your preference. Like, if you want to stop here and you're like, this is as smoky as I want, or if you're like, mm, I want a little more black, then add a little more black. I'm going to focus on the blending. So I'm just going back in with the other shades we previously used and just making sure there's no harsh lines. And then I'm going to take that same black and just a little bit onto the lower lash line, keeping it kind of more in the outer corner and then back in with sequin ritual to blend it out a little bit like i said for this particular look i'm really trying to keep the smoky and deepness in the outer portions and the brightness in the center portion in the inner inner portions So now comes my favorite part, amping up the glitter. <laughs> so first I'm going to go back in with the Soothe Glitter and just add a little bit more because some of it probably got blended away with all of the adding of the black. So I'm going to need to amplify and I want it to be a little more apparent this time, I'm going for even more glam. So I want even more glitter because that's my preference. All right, so now I'm going to take the memory glitter just a smidge of this not as much and just pat on the outer corner just a smidge so it's not so matte on the outer corner but there's a little bit of that glitter you can add as much or as little as you want and then i'll just go back in with a fluffy brush no extra product make sure there's no harsh lines last but not least i'm going to go in with the aura glitter and put this right on this inner portion of the lid. I'm trying to keep it on the lid, not too far on the inner corner because I don't want to risk getting it in my eye. But I want a little brighter glitter in that inner portion. One more time in with that fluffy brush. I let the glitter kind of come up into the crease a little bit just to open up the eyes a little more, but like I said, it's all preference. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Sigma Flat Definer E15 brush on the matte memory shade. And just put that right up against the lash line to use as a liner. Because I think for this look, since I want really smoky and blended, I don't want to add too harsh of a liner by adding a liquid. So I'm going to stick with a shadow per se. But if you prefer liquid, by all means, do it. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little a couple coats of the Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. And we'll wrap this up. All right, well, that completes this video. This is the final ultra super smoky glam look. Personally, my favorite is probably that middle ground glam. I love it to be a little bit deep, a little bit of glitter. Um, I save these kind of looks for special occasions and when I really am really feeling the smoky glam. For the most part, I think my go-to is probably the middle glam. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope it was helpful uh, to just play with some makeup a little bit today and learn some different levels of how I like to create some different glam looks, um, whether it's simple and soft or glitter and glam smoky looks. <laughs> if you did enjoy watching, please consider subscribing. I do post every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I hope you'll join. You can also follow me on Instagram at jsanchezbeauty where I post little uh, pictures of makeup looks and tutorials and whatnot now and then, or you can just follow for my stories of my dogs. <laughs>
But thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.